Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of The Pulse. I'm your host, Sam Red. Today we have a great show with the people from the FBI, so don't go away. You don't want to miss this show here on The Pulse. Hello and welcome back to The Pulse. I'm your host, Sam Red. Did you know that the FBI does community outreach? Well, they do. Joining us now is Marvello Gray, community outreach specialist for the FBI. Marvello, welcome to the show. Thank you. So tell, tell us what the, uh, what the FBI does, does as far as community outreach. Um, our community outreach program is all over the country. All okay. 56 field offices has a community outreach specialist. Mm -hmm. They have one or two, depending on how large the field office is. Right. And what we do is develop partnerships with those who are in the community. Mm -hmm. We have different programs that we have instituted to help uh, spread the word about the FBI and how right. we can help you. That's mm -hmm. our main goal, is to assist you. Okay. And to give you more information and dispel all the debunks, right. the myths, that are out there about the FBI. Okay, and 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 with the FBI, I mean, I have some brochures. So some of the things that you do um, are are like, um, what's this? A child ID? Yeah, we have a. That's our, one of our new programs, the FBI Child ID app, which you can do. You can download on your Android or your iPhone, and it 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 takes the place of the ID kit where you do the fingerprint and the ink and all of that. Everything is just right there online. Mm -hmm. So, so people can download that? You can download that app. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and this could be a part of one of the, uh, like people do the, ID, the fingerprint right. ID kit. Right, it replaces else. all of that. Okay, all right. Now, um, what other things do you do? You work with schools and community groups? And we work with schools. Right now we have the Adopt the School, Utah Mar Marshburn Elementary mm -hmm. School. Right. Right now we're collecting gifts for them. We mm -hmm. have the Angel Tree Project okay. going on. All right. So we're collecting gifts for them and we have 50 students from there, the most needed 50 students, mm -hmm. and we're giving them we're giving them gifts. Mm -hmm. um, the FBI employees can pick angels from the tree. Okay. And we just and everybody donates a gift for a special child. Now, is it just FBI agents who can donate, or, or can community people donate to that? No, it's just FBI employees. Okay. Whether you're agent or non-agent. Okay. And when do you give those gifts out to those kids? I will do that uh, in two weeks. In two weeks, we'll and, be delivering it. And the agents will go and uh, and have a good time with the kids? Yes. What other kinds of things do you do with the schools throughout the year? Um, we also support them. We bring out uh, FBI agents or speakers mm -hmm. to talk to the students about being safe online, being safe in their community, um, stay away from gangs, uh, different things, different topics we'll come out and we'll talk to them about. Okay, all right. And, and you have a teen academy also? We have a teen academy. Our teen academy is uh, for 18 year, for those who are 18 and under, mm -hmm. thir well, 13 to 18. And they come to the FBI office and learn more about what the FBI does. And, and it's for those who are in Maryland and Delaware. Mm -hmm. They must live in those areas. So tell me on a, on a, on a given day at the uh, teen academy, what would be some of the things they would go through? Um, they will learn about, again, about gang, online safety. Um, this particular year, we did something unusual with human trafficking. Mm -hmm. We brought in a victim, mm -hmm. uh, along with our victim specialist. She brought in a victim and talked to them and talked on their level, their right. language, right. about how um, the streets are and how to prevent you from, if you're in the mall, mm -hmm. uh, walking down in the mall and someone approaches you and asks you about being a model. Mm -hmm. um, and they did all that scenario for the kids. Okay. And their eyes were open. And they could see, oh my goodness, I, I didn't know right. I was that vulnerable. Right. And they gave them tips on what to look for. But you know, from the victim standpoint, that hits home. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened in that class. So that was good. And is a community outreach uh, service person at every, all around the United States? All around the United States, yes. Okay, so the FBI is all really around. involved in working in, with the community. Yes, yes. All right. With and, you know, and people, I think people think of the FBI as just arresting and, and, and uh, solving crimes. Right. But a way of, uh, of working with the community is also stopping crime also. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Now you have something called a, uh, a Citizens Academy also. Mm -hmm. Now uh, tell me a little bit about the Citizens Academy. Uh, the Citizen Academy is a nine-week nine course. Uh, mm -hmm. Every Tuesday from 6 to 9 o'clock we bring in the community leaders, mm -hmm. whether they're from business, civic, um, 
anyone who's a leader in the community comes in mm -hmm. and learn about the FBI. And it opens your eyes up what we do. Okay. Um, you get first-hand knowledge, polygraph, mm -hmm. uh, you see them fingerprinting, learning how to dust for fingerprints. Right. Uh, they also have polygraph, they hook a person up to a polygraph machine, mm -hmm. and you see how they do that mm -hmm. and when they do polygraphs. Um, also, we have different, uh, our, our number one priority is terrorism, so you get to see what terrorism is about. Uh, you have a speakers on all our different priorities and all of, and all, and you understand our mission right. and our goals. So I've, uh, I've had the uh, the pleasure of going through the mm -hmm. academy, and it's almost a mini version of, uh, of of what an FBI agent would go through in yes. training, and yes. it gives you a different outlook right. on the on the agency, and uh, it tells you just how dangerous, but how just how intelligent these people that work in the FBI mm -hmm. are and how much they're working constantly, 24 hours, seven yes. days a week, to protect the citizens of the United States. That's right. We're gonna take a short break, and then we come back, we're gonna have someone on the show here with us that has also gone through the uh, Citizens Academy, is now part of their Alumni Association. Okay. Don't go away, we'll have more on mm -hmm. The Pulse. <music> Welcome back to The Pulse, I'm your host, Sam Red. When we left, we were talking about the FBI Citizens Alumni Academy, um, and uh, we said we would have someone who has been a part of it. So joining us now is Ree Ward, who is a uh, member of the alumni and is also a person that went through the uh, academy. So Ree, mm -hmm. welcome to the show. Thank you, Sam. And uh, so tell me, what made you decide that you wanted to go through the FBI Citizens Academy? Well, um, in 2000, I started volunteering with Baltimore County mm -hmm. Police Department, mm -hmm. and I saw an article in the Sun Paper, uh, and there was a picture of a lady shooting a gun. Okay. And the article was about the FBI Citizens Academy, okay. and she had attended it, mm -hmm. and it was fascinating to me. Mm -hmm. So I, since then, wanted to attend the academy. Right. Well, after 9/11, they stopped the academy for a while. So in 2005, I got a phone call from the FBI said, saying we're going to do the Citizens Academy again. So I was in the first class after 9-11 okay. and graduated in 2005. Wonderful. And it was an absolutely marvelous experience. Okay, so tell me what did you get out of it? Uh, were there eye-opening experiences there? Uh, tell me what, what you got out of those eight weeks. Uh, well many eye-opening experiences mm -hmm. because we learned what the FBI really does right. in real life, not TV, you know. And um, we learned about cyber crime, mm -hmm. we learned about polygraphing, we learned about crime scene investigation techniques. Mm -hmm. We actually got to lift fingerprints. Uh, we actually got to um, do a simulation where we were the agent mm -hmm and we got to role play okay. and enter like a building, mm -hmm. you know, um, and learn how to defend ourselves. Okay. And uh, then we got to go to Quantico, to the academy there, and um, uh, just learned uh, every aspect. We actually learned what it takes to be an agent mm -hmm. and how you can become an agent. Um, we had uh, the agents came in on a weekly basis okay. and we learned what they did in this country and also what they did in foreign countries. Okay. All right, so so you were interacting with uh, with the real live FBI agents that everyone sees on television. You were seeing Absolutely. all the stuff that people see on CSI and, and Criminal Minds mm -hmm. and all that, uh, those things on television. So after you completed that, there was an alumni association. Uh, you remember the alumni? Yes, I'm actually on the board of the Alumni right. Association. All right, and, w and what do you do as a member of the alumni? Well, well, of course we encourage people, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, we're advocates for the FBI. Right. okay. Um, we attend uh, monthly meetings, mm -hmm. uh, and every other month we have a general meeting where we have a guest speaker, someone in law enforcement, mm -hmm. and we may, if we know someone, we may actually, you know, uh, invite them for the rest of the um, people yeah. uh, of the academy. Uh, we do social functions, too. Okay. Right. Uh, we may do a Christmas uh, affair. Mm -hmm. um, we help Marvella a great deal, I think. Um, when we have a new Citizens Academy, uh, I'll go over and I will help her register people mm -hmm. and you know help make the new people maybe feel comfortable and get acquainted. 
Um, uh, we also go to Washington, D.C., to the headquarters in Washington. Sure. Yeah. Um, and uh, we really, I think, just have a great time. So you think it's, a, uh, it's fun, but it's also a very educational piece also, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and, and would you encourage someone to get involved with it if they could? I definitely would encourage someone mm -hmm. to get involved with it. Not only, you know, is it educational, and you feel like you're really doing something valuable right. for the community, okay. and um, and actually for your country too. And for your country too. Yeah. yeah. So Marvell, if somebody wanted to get involved with the uh, FBI Citizens Academy, how would they reach you and, and go about getting uh, signed up for it? Um, you can call our main number four one zero two six five eight zero eight zero, or you can email me at Marvella Gray M A R V S of Victory E L L A G R A Y mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. I C. FBI.gov. Okay, we'll see. We'll show that on the screen <laughs> below that. Uh, so, Marvel, can can anybody get into the academy? No, not anybody. Okay. You must be a business leader, mm -hmm. or um, a religious leader, mm -hmm. or religious uh, a leader in the community. Okay, all right. Yes. Now, uh, this is the FBI, so you yes. do have to do background. Yeah, background testing. investigations. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Especially because background. you're out there, you're, you're representing. That's right. The government agency, right. and also you're also working with kids. Yes. Out and about in the community right. also. Right. Uh, so are there any other things that you got going on that are exciting? Um, I just want to tell you about the classes. The okay. classes are held uh, in Baltimore City, okay. well, in the Baltimore office in the Maryland area. Right. It's only held once a year, and right. it's in September, the okay. fall of the year. Right. Uh, and we also do one in Delaware in the spring. That will start April. Okay. So if somebody wants to do that, they need to get in touch with you and get yes. a resume for you. Uh, because I'm sure you got a lot of folks that are yes. trying to get in. Yes. Uh, and, and it you, goes and before you narrow board. it down. Yes. Okay. It goes before board. Okay. So what else is going on with the FBI, with um, what you're doing? We have a new program called Safe Surfing. Mm -hmm. Safe online surfing. Okay. Uh, we want the schools to sign up for it. It's a competition. Mm -hmm. It's a national competition with children from when it grades age, um, was it grades three through eight. Okay. Um, they come in, they, it's online, it's very easy, and it's, it's interactive for the students, mm -hmm. and it's fun, and it's easy. Okay. And it, the children can compete, and it teaches them how to be safe online. Okay. So it's national, and after, if, you, if you win your grade or your, your school wins, you receive a trophy. Now, uh, tell us why it's important to be safe online. I mean, it's, people don't realize that there's a lot mm -hmm. of danger with kids, and every kid has a computer, or an yes. iPhone, or yes. uh, or laptops in their room. And uh, and I tell a lot of parents also to keep those computers in a family environment yes. Yes. in the house so that the, the kids are not alone. That's right. But it's important that there are people out there, the predators and people yes. out there who prey upon young people on the uh, on the computer. So mm -hmm. that's the main reason why you want to get this message that's out. That's right? right. We really want to get the message out because kids need to know that especially that age up to eighth grade. They really need to know that. We okay. usually leave them out, talk about the teens and higher in okay. high school, but we really need to reach those grades from third to eight. Okay. And that's what this program does. Great, great program. Great. Yeah. Uh, so, Ree, let's go back a minute. Um, did you ever get a chance to shoot that gun? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, you did? We uh, went up to the range in Frederick uh -huh. on a Saturday morning. Okay. And um, along with uh, um, a range instructor standing right I next hope so. to okay. us, All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. we um, we did get to shoot. What'd you shoot? Uh, I shot a semi-automatic uh -huh. rifle. Okay, is that all? I think they have, they have a Tommy gun or something too, didn't they? Uh, well, I saw the Tommy gun at the field office in okay. Baltimore. All right. They and, shoot that. Okay. And I think they, I don't know that we shot it when I was there, but okay. I think they shoot right. it now. Well, when I went up, they did, uh, we shot the Tommy gun and we mm -hmm. shot shot an assault rifle um, mm -hmm. and a handgun, a uh, Glock. Uh, but by the time I got in line to shoot the Tommy gun, the thing was so old that uh, and it just kicked <laughs> out. So uh, I never got a chance to shoot the Tommy gun. Well, ladies, I want to thank you for coming on the show today. The FBI has got so many great things going on. But to work with the community and be a part of uh, bringing the community in mm -hmm. and working together to uh, make our community and citizens aware of just how hard they work to keep us safe is so very important. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to thank you for what you do. Uh, it's, you do great work out there thank with you. the FBI and the whole team out there. Um, and, and Re, you do a wonderful job with uh, volunteering. Uh, and it's, it is volunteer because that's mm -hmm. let's make it known that you don't get paid a dime for doing what you do when you come out and volunteer. Mm -hmm. uh, so we want to thank you for, uh, for what you do and for coming on the show. Um, so uh, enjoy what you're doing and, and keep up the good work, all right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies.
Don't go away. We'll have more on the Pulse. I want to thank my friends from the FBI for coming on the show today and sharing such valuable information. And as always in parting, stay safe, stay informed, and keep your finger on the pulse of our community.